Okay, welcome uh, to Canfield Adventures. I'm uh, I'm Mike Canfield. Uh, so today we're heading into uh, another uh, new lake for the for the YouTube channel. Uh, it's on the Lawrence chain, and uh, you know I got the uh, got the four wheeler all loaded up, uh, ready to go. You'll notice I I don't have a boat. That's because uh, I've done the prep work already to get in this lake. Put a put a boat in there already. So that's what we're gonna go use. And uh, in fact, let's uh, let's take a look at a little bit of that prep work right now. Well, I made it to the, the lake after uh, some serious bushwhacking. I mean, you can see how thick that bush is behind me. There was a little trail for a little while, but it kind of dissipated. Uh, I gotta find something better or else I'm gonna cut a lot. Uh, but boy, it's a really nice spot. So they got to the lake. It's where you know, the creek's coming in down here. Uh, you know, nice, nice, uh, you know, granite boulders. And then it comes out into the lake uh, down here. And uh, boy, if I get this trail cleared in time, I think I'll just grab my rod and do a little casting uh, right where the water's flowing. I never know, might just get a couple of walleyes for my trouble right today. So um, yeah, we're gonna try this out. I'm gonna try to find this, uh, this trail that, uh, that used to be here, or maybe is still here, semblance of it somewhere. Uh, still lots of work to do. Well, the directions from, uh, from my friend, uh, Dave Black, were were quite uh, accurate. I walked down the shoreline and what do you know? I found a couple boats here. Uh, you got this one and there's one over here. That one's looking pretty rough. Um, they both look pretty rough actually. Uh, okay, I didn't have the camera set up. But I thought I'd try a few casts. I did, you know, I said, again, it doesn't look that deep in here. Uh, and check this out first cast. That is a big, large mouth bass. Only the second largemouth or third largemouth bass I've ever caught. And that's the biggest. Wow, that was awesome. Okay, now that's done. We know there is largemouth bass in this lake. We know there's smallmouth bass in this lake. Although I haven't found them yet. There's walleye in this lake. Uh, everything else, I don't know. There could be trout. Uh, there could be musky and there is apparently a portage at the end of this lake into another one that definitely has trout and musk or trout and walleye in it so uh we're gonna check that out as well uh should be a nice day a little windy but the lake is narrow hope it's gonna be all right let's go Always found these uh, these handles right here kind of hilarious. So, you know, I guess the the reasoning is that you can carry it beside you like a suitcase. Well, this is a mid '90s 15 horse Yamaha. I'm sure there are guys that can carry it beside them like a suitcase, but uh, they'd be pretty big dudes, and I'm not one of them. Uh, my brother could probably do it, but uh, I find the best way to carry these things, if you're looking to go out, is you flip it up like that. And what you want to do is you get it up in your chest. So once you get it in your chest, you can really carry it quite a long ways because it's nice and stable and it's up high. It's not really that heavy. It's not that bad at all like this. And I can carry it. I can carry it around no problem now. But uh, yeah, not, not by one arm beside me. Well, I threw into 
shore and finally hooked up with something. You know, it does feel like a walleye too. That would have been really shallow if that's a walleye. I didn't hook him real good. I hope I can get him in the boat. Where I hooked him though, it should be a singing by a view of bass, but. Oh, you know what? Oh, it is a walleye. Look at that. Finally. Finally, finally. Found a walleye in this lake. Yeah, that's a good eater. Well, 14 and a half inches, I'd say. Not too bad. Nice color. Um, today we're uh, Trying out a new tent of mine that I just bought. So, uh, well, first let's uh, let's see how it was set up. in about an hour uh, let's go take a look it's called a uh, this is a, a white duck alpha 14 by 16 tent it's a canvas wall tent so uh, went up fairly easily it's all uh, metal pole construction uh, nice guide wires on it uh, they're actually quite handy you just uh, pull down and use to cinch them and uh, yeah it works quite well actually um, very well very uh, great construction very heavy duty uh, yeah, and so it's, it's a uh, two flap door, uh, so to keep the bugs out. So you got a screen door here. Uh, we're in October now, so uh, no bugs. Uh, and here we are. So very roomy. Um, right now we got two beds set up. Uh, buddy of mine are up here right now. We got two guys joining us, so they're gonna be there. Um, we got the uh, the wood stove set up. Went with a barrel stove for this thing. Uh, there should be plenty of heat. Um, did put welding blankets underneath hopefully that's uh gonna work out those things get really hot uh, so i'm hoping the welding blanket's gonna gonna do a good job got a welding blanket too in the back just to hopefully protect the screen uh and of course with one of these uh with one of these thermal fans which hopefully will work uh, work quite well uh, for moving the air around so yeah we'll have uh two more beds here um we're planning on like a table over here kind of like a sitting area and uh, so far, I'm really happy with it. Uh, it's got a floor as well, which is nice. And it um, should be nice and warm. Okay, just got a big northern on. Oh! Is run again? Got another run left in him. You gotta pick him, you gotta pick him up? Oh, look at the back on him. I guess he had another run in him. <laughs> Hit him with the paddle while I'm going. Right there. Holy. Yeah. Wow. Pretty good run. Look at the look at the size of the back. Pretty good fish. Nice fish there, Jeffrey. Cheers. Well, we had a little bit of a tough time here. We uh, our motor didn't work, so we uh, we had to paddle out. Uh, but we paddled to this island right here. Hey, Jeff, how'd we how'd we make out? We do okay. Good. Have a good day. That is a nice looking stringer right there. One spot. Seven walleyes. One spot.
suspicion's hot and heavy already. How many is that now, guys? You just got here. Oh, that's a butte. That's six. Nice job, guys. That was almost a double header. Beauty. Hey, Brad, hold that one up. Yeah. Beauty. Oh, we got another double header. One's in. Oh, Dale, what do you got there? That looks like a pretty good one again. Oh, baby. Yeah, get the net on that. Oh, she's nice and golden. Hold that one up there, Randy. That's a nice one. Let's see, Dale. Nice fish. All right, Dale's got one on. I just caught this one. Oh my God, look at that! There it is, good boy! Bring it over here. Oh, Yeah, look at the marks. Wow.